What was that? My name is Nellie Bridges and I am from Australia and today I have travelled across the globe to come to a key off of the peninsula of Florida and so we're going to stay here for a few days, three nights and see what we can find. Is this thing on? This. Okay. So, I will clean my nails then with the goils and my ex-boyfriend Vincent Antonio Rivadarchi said that I cannot survive in a wilderness. I don't know if you can see it, but that is the boat just, just dropped me off. Just because I like to get my nails did and my hair pumped up every once in a while does not mean that I'm not capable of surviving on my own. I guess I'm finally alone out here. And now I am officially here alone. So here we are. Do you think there's spiders? Signing off for now. The first thing we want to do is to find some sustenance, some nutrition, water. So this, this would be great. This is great. We've got some coconuts here, so I can just go and chop some of those down. Um, great for water, meat, nutrition, uh, fatty. It's very fatty. Um, so we'll see what else we can find. So before I got here, I was reading Camping for Dummies, you see, and they said the number one key to surviving in the wilderness is a shelter. Was it water? I've done many exhibitions before, as you may have seen in my TV shows, but um, Africa, you know, North America, um, Australia. So hopefully I can teach you some tips and maybe you could do this too. So it's a bit toasty, but not as hot as Joyzy Beach. <laughs> so and <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I'm good. So, um, this is why you always bring setting spray, ladies, okay? Because I'm a bit toasty. Just come across this cactus. It's actually a very good source of water. And we can cut it open and use it later. So, anyways, I said, you know what? This... Oh. My. God. I didn't know I was in the desert. So, I don't know how long I've been walking for. You know, I can't even tell the time. My phone died. And... What? what was that? Okay, sorry, sometimes I get paranoid. <laughs> um, anyway, so this spot over here looks nice and shady. I can get out of the sun for a little bit. Oops, didn't mean to step on that. Anyway, so I have collected two coconuts and I am just, I'm gonna be fine on water. The way you can tell whether a coconut is ready, okay, you can have a lot of water, but not a lot of meat. So you can shake them and hear how much water is in it. And if you can hear water, that means there's meat in it. And if you can hear nothing, that means there's a lot of water and no bubbles or anything. And um, there's not a lot of meat. I can hear water in both of these. So that means there's gonna be a lot of meat in it. And that's very good for um, fatty uh, energy. And we're set. Oh my God, coconuts. I love pina coladas. So I'm starting to get a little bit hungry. And oh! I'm gonna try to crack open these coconuts and what was that? <laughs> Probably just a Florida panther getting its meal for the night. <laughs> Luckily it's not me. So the next thing you want to do is have a shelter. Um, you want to be able to be dry at night and um, away from dangerous animals and such. Uh, so I found this little area. Um, I think it'll be quite nice. I can sleep right there. So I'm just gonna put my coconuts here. So this area is my little shelter. I have my shirt drying out here, um, my coconuts, my bag, and I'm just gonna cuddle up in these leaves and they should be quite toasty, especially since the area we're in. Um, it's very temperate here, very warm and humid. So I'm not gonna get very cold at night. Uh, the ground is very wet, so it holds in the heat. And um, I think I'll be quite fine. And here it is. It's no rip, but it'll do. Now this structure is stronger than Vince's bicep. I'm gonna go for a little swim. I heard that salt is super good for your skin, opens up your pores. Let's see here. Oh! 
really cold. Um, maybe not. And um, I'll be back in the morning. Wish me luck. First night. Okay, you guys. I guess I'm gonna finally try to get some shorai. I, I don't know. I keep hearing all these strange noises. I don't think I'm alone. Good, right? So this is a sea fox berry tree. Um, it's poisonous, but it's not actually the berries that are poisonous. It is the leaves. So you don't want to eat the leaves because you'll get very sick and etc. Oh. Am I ever going to leave this island? I never want to leave this island. Well, I'm in my shelter right now, but I'm gonna go out and get some more coconuts and um, I'll be back in a jiff. So I'm just gonna put this down in my shelter right there and I'll be back. Don't move. So I was looking at a YouTube video and I know there's a way you can tell time with the sun or something. And... Oh my God. Look at all these buds. Uh, how convenient. Mother nature provides. <gasps> Oi! I thought I was the only person on this island. Oh my god, I'm saved! Do you mind? I'm trying to make a documentary. The only thing I mind is getting off this island. Oh my god. You shouldn't be on an island like this. We don't know what you're doing. <gasps> I thought I was alone. Yes, yeah, so did I. I don't think we're alone. <laughs> 